hello everybody i hope you are doing well in this video i'd like to show you how to create a very simple scenario of drones in vrep or copolia sim open the folder that you uh, install the vrep and then open it in a terminal type the copolia sim here and wait to open the environment okay here let me tell you some information about model browser here uh, it includes the components like actuators that you can see them in the blue grippers locomotions modifiers different types of sensors and it has also equipment like belts panes and Furnitures like chairs, planes, shelves, tables, household stuff, infrastructure like bathroom, doors, floors, urbans, and different types of uh, walls in different sizes, windows, natures like terrain, tree, and other types, people. And the most important equipment here is robots that includes mobile and non-mobile one the non-mobile you can see them here and the mobile uh, you can see the components here and we need to add the quadcopter that acts like drone uh, to select uh, this object and any other objects from this list you just need to click on it and drag it in anywhere in the scene then uh, you can see move uh, it and change its position let me show you here you can see the coordinations are changing and you can also rotate it and change the orientation orientation okay and let me show you the camera rotate you can see you can change and rotate the plane here and to run the simulation just click here uh, you can see um, there are two cameras here front camera and quadcopter floor camera uh, the drone it doesn't move and we will add a script to move it and you know it can follow a path if you click here on quadcopter you can see there are many objects here one of the most important one is quadcopter target this green sphere here when you um, move the sphere or target you can see the drone or quadcopter is following this so uh, we need to add some script here in green sphere okay let's see before creating a path here let me show you uh, two scenarios uh, we want to create something like this when you run this you can see the drone will follow this path and avoid obstacles okay uh, let's create the path here just before that okay let me move it here we need to create a path to create a path right click on this thing and on the thing you can see the add icon and then path select the segment type 
to modify it and add some other path you should click the you should uh, select the path and then here toggle path edit mode okay here the pass point one and then pass point two uh, to move it around you should select it and drag it anywhere you want okay let's see the screen and move the create it larger I want to create another pass and uh, connect it to this one so just copy for example pass point 2 Control and C and then paste it control and V and uh, you can uh, move it anywhere you like then create another one okay and move it For example, I like to create something like this and another one. Okay. Okay, it's enough, I think. And uh, this is the path that we created. You should put the drone at the beginning of the path. If I run the simulation, you can see the drone doesn't move because we didn't add any code and script to the target. So let's do that. Um, before creating the script, Let's see the script on quadcopter here. There are some functions like syscall initialization that initialize the quadcopter parameters. Then some other functions like syscall cleanup, syscall actuation, and other functions. To see uh, each function um, uh, actually what does each function you can click on a function and just a second for example add the object open reference for that function then you um, will be forwarded to the tutorial and you can see the parameters and arguments that that, that uh, function gave like object type size uh, duplicate tolerance and other uh, parameters okay so let's continue uh, to uh, move the drone and follow the path we need to um, create a script here right click here and then click add and here choose associated child script and through that one then double click on it you can see a function Cisco uh, thread main you should put your codes here um, we need first to create a um, target object I'll show you here and uh, you can see the functions that we can use here all the functions that we can use and here we need to get object associate with a script this one and okay and here we need to get the object
this line shows the screen sphere. Then we need to define the path using sim.get object handle. Okay, let me find it here. Let's try it again. Get object handle here. And then path. The path here. Then um, we need to tell the drone follow the path using this function sim dot follow path here okay and let see the parameters the number of object handle uh, number uh, sorry number object handle that here is target then the path handle which is path then the number of position orientation and uh, relative distance on path velocity and uh, acceleration okay first the object is target then path and let's see the more details here the position and orientation the third parameters can be a value between one and three one uh, indicates that only position is modified to only orientation is modified and three both of them are modified so uh, we need to just uh, modify the position so let's set it to one and um, the fourth and uh, the fourth parameter was relative distance on path that can be a value between zero and one zero is beginning of the path and one is uh, the end of the path okay so set it to zero the beginning of the path then we have the velocity that can be for example 0.3 and the acceleration for example 15 okay it finished let's close it and run the project the simulation you can see the drone is following the target and here is the front camera and floor camera okay you can add any other of this equipment and tools here for example you can add some trees here and change the size of it then you can just copy and paste the trees or you can add the terrain here oh my god you just play with these parameters okay let's remove it and let me show you run this very very simple scenario here that drone followed the path here you can also make the path invisible and do some other functions however it hit the terrain here no problem and this one you can see there are some obstacles and the drone avoids the obstacles
okay i've given you a kind of a sample script and you can take it and do a lot more advanced control and scenarios rather than what i've shown you here this uh, that was very very simple i hope you enjoyed this video i plan on releasing some more videos in coming months if you have any kind of ideas or suggestion please make sure to let me know in the comments below thanks for watching